Hello Mighty Nation and welcome back to another episode of Army Men of War. So this right here is episode 33 of this uh, really, really cool series that we've been doing. So as you all know from the previous video, the Greens attacked in heavy numbers and we're talking like, oh, like two divisions of tanks and like one division of infantry. And that was just after the Reds attacked. So this is the third part of this, uh, this attack on tank territory. So in this video we're going to be focusing mainly um, from these guys right here. So they took the fortress and now they're going to be attacking what's left of the Tans. And the Tans, are, they're not giving up, they're not surrendering after all of the, um, after all the threats from the Greens. So they, it's kind of like a, a standoff at the minute. You've got all the tanks and you've got all the infantry, a few bunkers and we've got all the defences inside the house as well. So this is going to be the episode when we actually attack inside the house. And whether we take it or not, I'll leave it up to the AI to decide. Because whatever happens in this episode will affect what happens in the next. So I think we're just going to go ahead and press start and see how it goes. So the battle's going to kick straight off. And it might get a little bit laggy. Oh, there we go. So instantly the artillery and all the infantry start opening fire. And the Tans have nothing but just a few infantry and a few heavy tanks guarding their guarding their position to their front door over there. The cool thing about it is that the uh, the Tans do have a back door as well, so we we are gonna burst through this door in a moment and we're gonna actually attack the back lines that you can see right here. I go, just gonna get rid of that. Oh, a bit of lag right there. Oh, don't I just selected the fridge, there we go. So okay, you've got all the tans inside here, look, they're just waiting to be attacked. And there's one of their colonels right there. So I say it like in every other episode, I'm gonna let you name this tan colonel. You can name him whatever you like and I'll pick the best one. So you have to let me know in the comments. And let's go straight to the battle. Oh, we're getting a bit more lag there. Do excuse the lag, but there's a lot of troops on this battlefield. A lot of dead ones and a lot of live ones. So the greens are advancing in heavy numbers right here, look. It's a supercharge with this really, really cool Calipay tank. I do hope I said that right, Calipay. A bit like a land mattress on wheels. And they're also advancing with some Pershings as well, which is the green heavy tank. The greens did have a pattern and they did used to have the M16, but then they kind of reverted back to the older weapons because they were just too hard to manufacture, you see, and very expensive as well. They also had to stop using the helicopters because of um, the amount of battery power it takes. Just haven't got it. These ones are okay. These use just the, st the standard double uh, A batteries. But the other, the helicopters, they use like power packs and stuff that they have to charge up. So we might, we're definitely going to be using more of the helicopters, I think, and the M16 in the next series. I'm really looking forward to seeing if these uh, greens can actually take the tan base. So they rule this fort here, and I think you guys need to stare this way for a little bit because we just don't want the we don't want the tans attacking from the other base now, do we? Because the tans do have a house next door, but they're all indoors at the moment. They're in defensive mode because because we've took so much of the tan lines. You see, they're weakened at the moment. And the main objective of this is actually to get a stronghold right next to the tans and try and find where the Blue Queen is. So we know the Blue Queen is in that house next door. So if we can take this house, you know, we, we're pretty much, we've got something to bargain with. What do you guys think? What is that tank taken out? So we've pretty much made it to the front door and we're just going to wait for some of the troops. Let's move some of the green troops up. Come on, dudes. There we go. Just going to turn off the silhouettes. There we go. Need as many troops up as we can because I've got a lot of defenses inside this place. We're still fighting some tans over there. I'll let you guys uh, move up behind the tans over here. I'm not going to control them too much, but they are on a hold move at the moment. So I think what I can do is actually I think I can take turn them on move at will. Might be a bit easier for me. There we are. Some of you guys. And I think whilst those guys are just finishing off the tans over here, we're going to go overhead to the other side and we're going to pierce a hole through this door and use these uh, greens right here, which seem very distracted at the moment. 
and we're going to attack the tan line from the back. You guys get over there. And they're distracted from some tans over here. Yep, some cannons. So we're not going to. We're going to get some of the men over here. Get near that wall over there. There we go. Let's blow a hole in this door. Are you ready for this? Get this Pershing. Three, two, one. Fire! There goes the door. I feel sorry for the humans. I'm going to have to replace the door yet again. But this time on this side and the other side. Get them, boys! So, this is the kitchen. They are attacking the kitchen at the moment. I'm not doing a very good job. But we need the tank to move up first, I think. Where are you going? Think these greens get very easily distracted. You've got a goal to take these guys out, not take out that cannon. It's not even a threat. Let's get as, all, as many greens back here as we can. Let's have a look at this side. Ooh, so this was a good portion of the greens army. A very good portion. So I don't want to attack them straight away. I do want to get them up here. And uh, ready to advance. Because we need as many men to advance as we can. You might recognise this map, some of you, from um, episode 2, if you've been around uh, for the whole series. We did use this map before with the Green Commandos. But the Green Commandos, they, they kind of failed in what they did. They succeeded and failed at the same time. We'll go get as many Greens down there as we can. I think after we've uh, taken the downstairs, we've got to look to take in the upstairs as well. But we've got to try and figure out a way to get up the stairs. So what would you guys do? If you guys were a plastic soldier, how would you conquer these stairs? Like, he's mastering it, look. He knows what he's doing. But that's something we're going to have to figure out. Get up this side. So as long as they're close by, that's all that matters. How's this side doing? Ooh. Did the Persian manage to advance? No, he didn't. See, the defence is just they're a bit too much, I think, in the kitchen. Got a lot of cannon emplacements. And that tank's getting very curious. Not too curious, though, luckily. Mind you, that's a very good strategic position right there, look. Oh! Feel sorry for that guy, it just got blasted into smithereens. So let's go back over to the fight over here. I'm gonna bring some more of these greens up. As many as we can. Tell you what, let's even get some of these artillery pieces that they're not really doing anything, are they? That's if they can... Oh no, they can't get up, can they? They can't fit through this gap. They, we managed to get them in, but we can't get them out. I've tried before. We're just going to have to use the infantry. I think we've got enough men. I think the commandos, they managed to take this whole base with just around 20 men, I think. But there's a lot more defences this time around. Let's go ahead and blow this door. There we go. Oh, we instantly lost a tank. Instantly. Oh, they had a tank waiting for us, that's why. Bazookas! Get him, bazookas. Oh, this is going to be harder than what I thought. There we go, there goes the enemy tank. Boom. Alright, don't waste your bazooka bullets, come on. Get as many up as we can. Like I say, this would be a very good strategic position for advancing troops on the uh, Tan's bigger house over there. That's going to be a whole other battle in itself. So, we've got to be really careful. Like I said, the Tan's no, showing no sign of activity of attacking on the right side yet. I think Tannenberg's hiding at the minute. He's a bit scared. I don't think I don't think he um, anticipated all this, um, all this carnage, especially amongst his lines. But it's because of the blue mutiny, you see. It's made it so we've been able to bring a lot of green forces from the left flank over to the right flank. Oh, got some close combat right here. Oh, they're just cuddling each other. Staring at, there we go. Officer leading the way. Kind of acts like a gate in a castle wall, doesn't it? It's really cool. There you go, some more greens. Just splattered one of the, um, the soldiers. Move up. I can hear one of uh, the green tanks. I think. Oh, there he is. Just what we needed. Searching to save the day. Move on up. It's going to be quite the battle. We just need to take the downstairs. And then we can try and figure a way to get upstairs then. 
that's if there is any tans upstairs. We'll have to look at, look, to, look into some intel. We should find a lot downstairs with all these bunkers and bases and stuff. As you can see downstairs, they have got a lot of bunkers, which are now on fire. A lot of towers. And they do have a uh, plastic factory as well. What you can see there with the tank inside. So we're going to try our best to destroy all this. Now we can establish our own little green base here. So I know some of you are going to be wondering, like, where are the adults in all this? Well, that's where there's a bit of a twist, you see. Like, this doesn't have to be happening in the physical world. I mean, anything's possible in a child's imagination. Let's just put it that way. So, who knows? This could be all played in little Timmy's mind. We're running out of greens over here. I just want to check around there, see if we've got any more... Any more reserves. But the greens have kind of stopped trying over here. We managed to take out the tank, though. Using it as cover. And it's just a matter of taking out this artillery now. What happened to that caliper? The, um... The missile tank. I wonder what happened to that one. He got taken out, I think. We could really do with this um, artillery over here. If not, oh, we've got some more greens there. Come on, you slackers. Get up here. That tank's taken out. So uh, we're definitely going to have to take some control in this one. Use a bit of strategy with these soldiers because they're not going to do it on their own. Like, the tans seem to be on the winning side at the minute, so I'm going to control the losing side. As I've always done. Oh, move up. Got him. So this is a story of heroes, this one. Oh, got him killed. That's it, just what you need. Try and get that there. Oh, they've taken out his tracks. At least his gun works, that's the main thing. I wonder if we can move any of our troops in. The tank doesn't seem to be doing anything. I think it's uh, disabled or unoccupied. So, oh, he, did he just fix it? Yes, he just fixed his... Uh, yay, that's just what we needed. Just fix the tank. Get shot off. Do it. There we go. If we can just take out some of the defences. That's all we'll need. Like I say, if the greens do lose, they lose. We'll have to uh, go back to the uh, drawing boards and figure something else out. So we'll have to do that. This tank's wandering off. Probably for the better to try and dodge the, uh, the shells, but I want to try and get him back up there. Is there any more? Need some more troops. Yeah, get as many as we can up. Does he have sight on them? Those cannons are they're really bad. See, the cannons, they can uh, dip their shells, can't they? They can shoot in the sky and it'll land, whereas these are just direct fire. Oh, tell a lie. I just, did I just get it through that little hole? a good shot that was. Let's move up some more troops. Come on boys, get him. Oh. I keep getting a lot of questions as well about moving, removing the blood and unfortunately in Men of War it just can't be done. I can change the colour of it but I can't change it to a specific colour. Maybe I could change it to like grey or something or something along those lines maybe. Right, so I think what we're going to do is here, let's push through with this tank and just hope for the best because we're running out of infantry. So here we go, here goes nothing. I'm going to get a lot of hate in the comments saying, don't take control of them, let them do themselves. But they just can't get through this gap, especially with that tank in the way. It's kind of just like, yeah, he's just in the way. Machine gun. We can squeeze through that corner there, look. Uh, we can't get through there. They've done that on purpose, I think. Quite a smart strategy from the AI, if you ask me. Even if it was an accident. Other than that, I think we're running out of green soldiers. We've got some over here. So what we can, what we can do is, instead of bringing them through this way... <gasps> they're distracted! Okay, let's do this, boys. Alright, on three. We're going to charge. Charge, 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 charge. Oh, they have no idea. They absolutely... Look at that. They have absolutely no idea. Get them. Get them. Open fire. Go on. Oh, they're in too strong cover. That cover's too strong. Don't just look at them. Get them. That's it. We're going to have to name some heroes in this one. 
get some heroes published in the NGG, which is the um, the new green group gazette, is it? Something like that. So, oh, look at that. So when I do get my website up, I want everybody to get involved. I want people to take roles and give me. I, want, I need advisors for what we're going to do in series two, and I want people to do newspaper articles and literally everything. Let's let's do it all. I know there's there's a guy out there called uh, Jay Gray. So a big shout out to you, dude. He's doing the New Green New Green Gazette. So that's like a newspaper article for propaganda for the um, for the Green Soldiers. And I'd like one for the Tans. I'd like one for the Reds. One for the blues, one for the greys when they come. Be really cool. Oh, the tower. Let's get some names right here. So we've got Ryan Allen and Patrick Hernandez. Good luck to you both. There we go. So let's have a look. What else do we have? The tans are actually holding their own in there. Really holding their own. We're running out of troops. What have we got over here? There's literally next to no troops left. Would you look at that? So the Tans have held the base. We have done a little bit of damage. Took out a lot of their tanks. Is their officer still alive there? That's the question. Their officer still alive and well. I don't know what we're going to do. I think we're going to have to bring up some more guys, I think. But other than that, I think we've... Oh, no, we've got a lot of reserves back here. We might actually be able to take this house. I'm not sure. But if we do lose these soldiers... They're going to leave this side exposed, though, so let's just hope no tans come through this way. Yes, sir. What are they doing? Why can't they move? Are they stuck? Got it, sir. Okay, some of these are stuck for some reason. Yes, sir. Oh, no, they're not. They're better now. Got it, sir. Right, gather. We need to gather all the troops we have yes, in one place. These artillery would have come in handy, but we can't get them out of the... Um... Let's see if we can. Let's just have a go at getting them out. Just a few shots from this could take out the enemy artillery behind that door, you see. Or for where the door used to be, should I say. Last time I tried, I couldn't squeeze it through. Oh, I might have the same problem. Oh, no, we did it. There we go. Must have been, the, uh, must have been something wrong with it last time. Oh, this is lovely. We've got another tank now. So you get down there. We'll do the same with you. We're completely exposing this fort, though. Let's just pray that no. I'm just going to leave one guy on lookout just to make sure there's no tans coming. He can use his little radio on his chest to stop the um, to, to stop them advancing and call the soldiers back. Oh, that one's been taken out, so we can't. Right, let's do this. We could advance from the back again. They seem pretty weak at the back. Hmm. A lot of strategy involved in this episode. Oh! We had a brave tan there. Very brave tan. So there is some soldiers running over here to check out what's happened. To see if the uh, greens have stopped advancing. See, that's where the uh, tans would get the upper hand then. If they can see what's going on outside. If the tans were just to see that there was nobody in the fortress. Maybe the tans from the other house could advance. And absolutely crush the greens. But the greens just aren't letting them out of the house at the minute. So let's get some of these dudes over here. Get you over here as well. Go for one last epic charge. Is that. Oh, they've took out the Pershing. No, they haven't. There it is. What's it doing over there? Let's put this in, in position now. We can do this now. Get him to open fire. Yeah. There we go. Get them to cover them. Get you on hold position. Get your Whoa, what happened there? Oh, there goes the artillery. It's that artillery. Right, now under the cover of fire. Let's charge. Charge, boys. No, where are they going? No, not that way. Go that way. Can they get through? Uh-oh. I don't think we can get our men through here. Surely we can, or they blocked it. Nope, we can't get them in through. We're going to have to use the other door. No! The artillery! 
Wow. We might actually call this a win for the tens. Or like a truce, because we've got no more men here. Let's just see how well these guys do. If these guys fail, then we're going to call it. Like I say, I'll let the AI play it out. Whatever happens, happens. Right, sneak through. This is Andrew Kelly. Charge. You can do this, boys. Take out that cannon. Nope, nothing. Rip to Andrew Kelly. So the Greens do still control all this territory, but they don't have any men here at the minute, so they're going to have to bring some more out. That's unless the Tans actually advance their troops and come out here, so... Yeah, so I think we're going to call it on that episode. It's been long enough, I think. So I do hope you enjoyed this one. Um, do hit that like button if you um, want to see more. And do hit that subscribe button too. So I will see you all in the next one.